Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video that can save you a lot of time. So in my video sequence, you'll see that I have over a dozen clips and I want to apply a masking layer over all of the clips. So I'll just make this invisible here so you can see the layer behind it. So you can see that I have this image of a phone and I want to have all the clips look like they're contained within the phone. Just like I've done with this first video clip here. So if I click on this first clip and head over to the effect controls, you can see that I've applied a masking layer to it. Now there's two things going on here. One, I have rounded corners on my mask, which I can show you how I did that. And two, uh, while this is suitable for this one clip, uh, it, I don't wanna manually do this for dozens or, or hundreds of clips or whatever the case may be. I wanna apply it to all the clips at once. So first I'm gonna select all my clips and you can right click and group them all together. You might think that that's a natural starting place is to group all your clips. Um, however, grouping just creates one big block. It kind of glues them all together so you can kind of move it around or keep them all uh, together if you like. Even if you applied an adjustment layer on top of this group, still it's not gonna work. So I'll just grab this adjustment layer, stretch it to the entire length of these, uh, this grouping and boom, uh, but that's still not gonna work. So how you have to do that is right click and click nest. So nesting is kind of like grouping. It just groups everything together under one bin and you can just apply the mask directly to the nest. So we're just gonna select the group of clips here, right click and click nest. And you don't even need an adjustment layer uh, for this specific thing. So we'll get rid of that. So if you're not familiar with nesting, you could just double click into it and have access to all your clips. You can apply effects directly to it, cut it, move it around, shorten it, basically treat it like it's one clip. And then you can just toggle back and forth uh, if, if need be, or, or you can close that if you want. So what I'm gonna do is since I've selected my nest, I'm gonna head over to the effects control panel. As you can see, I have three options for masking. I have an ellipses uh, for you know round objects. I have a rectangle and then a freeform bezier tool. I'm gonna to go ahead and select the rectangle mask. Now, instead of dragging it to the corners, I'm gonna do that step later. First, I'm gonna make the corners rounded. And how I do that is I just go over to this expand option and I just drag it, you know, I just eyeball it to what I think might be a, a suitable amount. You can always readjust it uh, to make it perfect. And you can even zoom in on this to make it a little bit easier. But, but for our example, I won't do that. So now that I have my round corners, I'm just gonna drag all four of these corners and just kind of eyeball it. So there you have it. Everything's contained nice and neat in my mask and it's contained in this phone, which is exactly what I want. And it's applied it to all the clips. All right, that's it. I hope that was clear. and I hope that will save you a lot of time. Thanks for watching.